Lesson number five, courting behavior. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain that sexual reproduction requires the finding and selection of a suitable mate and can involve courting behavior. Look at the peacock in the photograph, showing off his gorgeous tail. Some of his feathers end in eye spots. In the breeding season, wild peacocks establish a territory in clearings in the forest. They attract peahens by calling and then showing off and vibrating their tail feathers when the female arrives. Peahens rarely mate with the first male they see. Usually they will visit a second, a third or even a fourth peacock before choosing a mate. The size and brilliance of her potential partner's tail and well as the number of eye spots help the peahen to make her choice. The way peacocks and peahens interact with one another is an example of courting behavior. To begin with, males attract females, then females select a particular mate from a number of possibilities. Attraction through display and selection of a mate are all part of courting behavior. Sexual reproduction is the outcome. In species where males help females rear offspring, their displays are messages about potential duties, providing food, protecting from predators and so on. For example, female barn swallows prefer males with longer tails. A longer tail means good health and indicates to the female that the male may be better at carrying out his parental duties. Male woodland birds attract females using sounds and songs to advertise their presence. Each species has its own particular sounds, so other individuals of the same species will be able to identify the message in the music. To other males, an individual song may mean stay away from my territory. To females, his song is an invitation to visit. Threats to rival males and invitations to females are part of the courting behavior of many different species of songbird. Some animals produce chemicals which smell. The chemicals are pheromones. For example, a male cheetah may spray urine containing pheromones onto a tree. Other cheetahs passing will know that the area has been claimed. The message in the smell is, stay away, this is my territory. Female silk moths produce pheromones which carry downwind and attract males. Their antennae are so sensitive that males can detect the pheromone several kilometers from the female producing it. The pheromone is a signal to the males that the female is ready to mate. Once males have picked up the female's scent, they head toward her, following the trail of pheromone which becomes stronger and stronger the nearer they get to the female. Males of other species are not attracted by the pheromone released by the female silk moths. They do not recognize the pheromone's message and ignore it. Once potential mates have been attracted, one of them needs to be selected. In most cases, Females are the selectors. Their choice is guided by the male's displays which attract them in the first place. The displays probably indicate the health of the males.